Hi there, I'm meteorologist Robert Spetta. Let's take a walk around the tropics to see what's going on out there today here on the morning of the 24th of August 2025. And you know, if we take a look across the North Atlantic, it is notable that uh, there's Aaron, by the way, it is uh, approaching Iceland and the British Isles. So they're going to be expecting some gale force conditions, some very large waves coming out of that, but no longer tropical by any means. And then of course, we have Fernand, which uh, developed in its wake here, passing towards the east of Bermuda. Uh, this is what I would call a, and be quite frank, an ugly fish storm. It is not organized very much, to say the least. You do have that little level of circulation, a little bit of convection. It's a fish storm because the closest landmaster is Bermuda, and they're not even really feeling the direct impacts from it. So the only people that are only things that are, I should say, are the fish out there. So it, it is a storm that, you know, I'm sure everybody's watching. It's our F name storm, but that's going to stay well towards our east by uh, what, uh, 12 to 1200 to 1000 miles east of the United States. No worries. Not even a big wave maker like we've seen uh, with Aaron out there. Uh, and take a look at our spaghetti models. Yeah, everything's pulling it off towards north. It just kind of follows in that trough, the same one that picked Aaron up. But at the same time, you do notice down here towards the south, got another invest area that's been given a moderate chance of development by the National Hurricane Center. Um, at this time, you know, nothing really indicates this could be a full-blown hurricane or anything like that, mainly because it is wrapped up in a lot of Saharan dust. It is kind of diffuse, a little bit of shear mixed in there, but it, it is still likely going to develop into a tropical storm, and if it does, still going to be a big rainmaker for the uh, Windward Islands and uh, basically tracking towards the west south of Puerto Rico, Hispaniola, as well likely going to be getting in on some showers with it as well. Now, all of this is going on, and I, and I really want to stress that none of this is going to impact the United States, and there's one big reason for that. It's this right here. Watch this just dry air pushing from the north. That acts like a roadblock for any tropical systems that try to develop. So at least for the near future, nothing... Um, anticipated out here in the u.s but of course always tracking the tropics because the peak hurricane season is just about two weeks from now so yeah always keep an eye out there i'm meteorologist robert spetta